But so if you own your own business or startup, but you can't read your financial statements and you don't seem to understand them, then keep watching this video, it will be useful. If you are already a financial guru, then you can skip this video, you can watch any of my other videos. Let's get into it now. I'll be telling you how to read a simple balance statement. And uh, I'll be breaking this video into three parts. So there will be two more videos in which I'll teach you how to read cash flow statements and income statements. But this video will mainly focus on how to read balance statements. The entire concept of balance sheet works on one simple equation. And that is assets equals liabilities plus net worth. Now, before we get into reading a balance sheet, I'll explain you some of the terminologies that are usually used in a balance sheet and what they actually mean. I'll also be giving you some examples so that it becomes clearer. Now, let's talk about accounts payable. If I'm a toy store manufacturer and I go to the plastics supplier and tell him I want to buy uh, plastics worth 50,000 rupees. Then in that case, I would give him 25,000 rupees in cash and I would say the rest of 25,000 I'll pay you within 30 days. So I'm not buying, I'm not giving him the entire 50,000 in cash, I'm just giving him 25,000 and the rest 25,000 I'll pay him later. Uh, this 25,000 is called accounts payable. This extra 25,000 that I have to pay him later is called accounts payable. Now what are accounts receivable? For example, if one of my clients, the, uh, one of, uh, one of, someone comes and buys my toys and he's like, I'll buy 50 toys from you and the cost for that will be 50,000. The other person is paying me 25,000 right now and is promising me to pay 25,000, the rest of 25,000 later within a period of 30 days. That is called accounts receivable. So Now, since we have a general idea about the terminologies, let's read an actual balance sheet and see if you can relate to it. So, um, this is uh, for, for the sole proprietorship. I'm going to read the balance sheet for sole proprietorship. Um, so, assets, uh, cash, they have $2,000 in cash, uh, accounts receivables, 85,000 inventory is uh, $210,000 and total current assets is $297,000 so, so $297,000 is the amount that they can receive within a year because it's current assets uh, let's look at the fixed assets it's land and building that's $50,000 equipment $50,000 furniture and fixtures $25,000 these are all these all come under fi uh, fixed assets because it might take them more than a year to sell this and receive cash instead. Uh, so the total value of fixed assets is $125,000. The total assets, which is the sum of current assets and fixed assets, is $422,000. Now let's look at liabilities and net worth. As you know, assets is equal to liabilities plus net worth. So finally, we should uh, get uh, the equations should satisfy. Um, the accounts payable is $18,000. Notes payable is $65,000, accruals is $95,000. Accruals is the additional expense that the company has and it has not paid them in cash. So it's similar to accounts payable, but accounts payable is the money that you have to pay to the supplier and accrual is the sub money that you have to pay someone else apart from the supplier. Uh, so the total current liabilities is $178,000. Now let's look at the long-term debts, the long-term liabilities. They have a mortgage of $144,000. The total liabilities is $322,000. The net worth, now what's net worth? Net worth is the uh, net worth is the difference between assets and liabilities. So as you know, asset, assets is $422,000 and liabilities is $322,000. The net worth is $100,000. Uh, net worth is the due that is with the owners and the stakeholders after all the expenses are covered. So that's $100,000 and if you sum them up, it's $422,000. And as you see, as you can see, uh, total assets is equal to total liabilities plus net worth. I hope this gave you a slight idea if you were a novice, I think now you're an amateur. So um, I hope you like this video. Do uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. I'll come up with more videos like this to help you in your startup journey. I'm Harish Kumar and thank you for watching.